if the games stay like this, mm -hmm. I need no trousers after the next games, I guess. Yeah, well, the next game <laughs> will be on Acolyte. It looks like it's going to be another Zerg vs. Protoss. And, of course, because Warren won that last game, this is a, a loser's pick format. So Warren gets to continue playing loser uh, all-kill format. Um, and the loser, the losing team, actually gets to come on, choose whatever map they want, and whatever matchup they want. So... They know Warren's got good ZVP, but they're choosing to still send out a good Protoss. So this has got to be, like, their best pvz -er, I would imagine. And he's chosen Acolyte. What reasons do you think the Protoss might choose this map as opposed to, you know, one of the remaining six? Um, well, to be honest, I don't have an idea right away. Mm -hmm. I'm not, it's not small, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you the uh, possibility of uh, playing a big macro game, and maybe that's his plan. Yeah, it's, well, it's definitely easier to secure a uh, fifth and sixth gas on this base because you do have, like, those three pocket bases. And really, Protoss is all about the gas, especially in this matchup, but in pretty much all matchups. Uh, the fifth and sixth gas gives them more technological options like Colossi in PVT, but in PVZ, of course, Stargates, stuff like that. The, the gas is really where it's at. You actually mentioned that just a little bit earlier when you said he didn't have the gas for the... So, I mean, it kind of ties off your original point there, huh? Yeah, it's always about the gas of StarCraft 2. I mean, if, if you trade minerals for gas, you're a happy man. Yeah. Yeah. You're a happy um, man. And Protoss especially hate losing their gas. It, it's just such a big deal. Because think about it. The Protoss composition, it, it's the death ball composition. If you get it where... You know, like you're never letting them get a, a big enough mass and just tearing it apart a little bit at a time, it never gets the, the potency that it would gain in the late game. So never allowing them to get that gas, I think, I think is critical. He is the Zerg player in the top right hand side of Acolyte in the pink Zerg chunks, it's Psystorm Warren. And his enemy after uh, he won the first map mm -hmm. is another Protoss on the bottom left. It's Riser. Yes, and this guy actually from Team All In, who is also playing under the banner Risen for this team league. These two teams have merged their rosters to give so us the kind of team possible. Okay, so this is kind of a stand-in model, or uh, how would you? Or did the uh, the teams really merge like, they mer like official? No, well, not or officially, no. But like, um, you know, like Zen Team Xenix back in GSL days. That was a combination of Zenith Esports and Nexus something or another. Um, but they called themselves Zenix for that particular team league to give themselves a competitive roster. Same idea, they just went under the team Risen. They didn't want to give it a creative name. I actually like that. Uh, the team I joined as I started casting uh, did that as well. And mm -hmm. uh, a couple of team leagues in Europe, we well had the best uh, players for the non-professional scene. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had no real chance against top 50 GMs or something, but... <gasps> Dude, hold but that thought, hold that thought. Look at what's happening here. Look at the positioning on this Overlord. There is a uh, Evolution Chamber complete. This is about to be Ling's Elevator dropped yeah. into the main. Oh my god, this is going to be so sick. And these Adepts and, are and he's actually... Even, he's even getting the Adepts, and this is so uh -huh. crucial. Oh, no, he has a diff with, with <laughs> HP. Uh, Dude, finish your feud! Food! No, nobody <laughs> wants your leftovers! <laughs> Alright, he does clean that up, and there we go, the uh, Overlord morphing there, so he's gonna get the high ground. He does send some lings into the low ground here, just see Pokin. I guess that's to distract, I guess. The Blubbish, of course, not yet there. Just warping in, and after the overcharge is placed, you just can, like, sit it out and go in. No, he's just streaming into the natural. Yeah, this is actually gonna sick. He's uh, he's sending some of the links here, sending some of the links over there on and that there's Nexus. there's no pilot down there. There's yeah. no pilot down there. He cannot yeah. stop him. Well, and even if he pile and overcharges one area, he's got three areas being targeted right now. He's sending some to that Nexus up in the top left now. He's spending most of his units to the pylons, killing off those units now. All the wings going here into the uh, natural and some more units being loaded up over here to give him two points that are being attacked. He's basically everywhere right now. I mean, if he could just take out uh, that one pylon behind the mineral line, that mm -hmm. would be nice, but you see... He's lacking of DPS. He already uh, lost nine probes right there. Yeah, and the, and nexus, and the nexus is uh, 
Well, it's a danger, I would say. The Oracle is almost out of energy. He cannot start the beam again, and the Adepts get surrounded right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, nine workers have been killed uh, by Warren uh, of the, the probes. Um, more definitely going to be falling here very shortly, but nothing but drones being produced behind this. So Warren about to overtake his opponent in the worker count and has established three bases very, very easily. Not to mention all the lost mining time and the delayed tech. The There's been a lot of side effects here uh, just from this one little attack, and I think Warren's definitely in a good position to continue this into a later game. Yeah, sure. Uh, just check the resources lost. It's, it's, it doesn't look that bad, mm -hmm. but uh, when you, I mean, there's this, this 19 probes killed. Mm -hmm. This is like a whole base of, of workers going down. Okay, the, I guess that drop overload is too slow to get away, mm -hmm. but that's just a small side effect. Yeah, Warren uh, at about two thirds of his units lost, so kind of kind of a big deal here, man. He has to do damage with these two Oracle na Oracles now to stay in the game at least. But the Queen popping uh. out at the last moment and that Spore <laughs> Crawler already in position, man. So not able to do that damage. Another Queen, another two Queens actually in position here to deal queens with these Queens everywhere. Weapons. Yeah, and man. That Queen was just like, <laughs> here's Jackie getting out of the door. <laughs> like she's like she's had waited, waited for this moment in the lifetime. Yeah, dude, and that uh, Spore Crawler was in a great position to, to continue the assault, man. We, this is we see a second Stargate. What is up with this Protoss tonight? Dude. I mean, is there, is there no other tech? I mean, I've seen Robo Adept Pressure with Resonating Glaives lately very often, and it's quite nice to play mm -hmm. that again. You can even trade kind of decent against Roaches if there's mm -hmm. no link support. You crush Hydras fresh workers for sure mm -hmm. why is he playing i always feel like stargate is some kind of risky I, it can be very rewarding but it can be very punishing for you as well and he is behind already i so. think the most punishing part of it is the fact that you're really reliant on your sim city and holding this high ground ramp and warren definitely abusing that so i agree with you that stargate does have its uh its flaws and warren just really seizing on the fact that players are doing it pretty much without exception here. I think you're definitely onto something there, man. Yeah. Uh, the two orchids here killed off, I guess, uh, <laughs> one drone at the gas. Mm -hmm. So that's value. Um, this is definitely not the damage he was looking for. He is no. trying to uh, put down a third. He has two finals coming in there with the Mothership Core. Some uh, links streaming energy. down into the third of Riser. Riser trying to establish a third base way late, seven and a half minutes. But these links yeah. gonna be uh be here to punish that. Um some of that's on usually, the field. But usually there shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem because Oracles against Links mm -hmm. should be okay. And the overcharge is helping as well. Oh the one pilot might go down here. Nah. No. no. Okay, didn't okay, commit, now Warren is really committing a lot of links and a lot of lava just into mm -hmm. into nothing. I mean, he, what did he achieve? He just lost like 30 links. Yeah, he and here's the thing. He killed off like the shields. Those are going to regenerate. Had he committed like one of the pylons that might have been an okay exchange, but not, not quite working out. Queens do kill off one oracle. Maybe getting a second oracle here. Nope, not quite, but uh, sport callers are yep. going to go down and I guess he achieved like a little bit of space to get this base established that that's another thing he achieved but again i agree that wasn't the best in terms of uh traits yeah you know what i would like to see now from the zerg mm -hmm. in nidus network and just is a straight popping out of the base i you think know, that would you know, work um he's he's actually choosing to go for the pathogen glands upgrade and get all uh, get the infestors like we saw him do last game we'll see if uh riser got it from jetterix that uh this guy likes to do this style but a little bit later this game i feel the infestors but still definitely committing to him thing is the zerg did uh did as warren did a very great in this <gasps> match so far oh no he's killing the path of the glands upgrade maybe he's just well that infestation pit is gone Dude, that's game changing so that that did hurt quite a lot. I mean, he has seven infestors in production, mm -hmm. but he all these infestors will miss 25 energy, so he has to wait longer to get two uh, fungals or at least one off. So yeah. um, 
And that so, would slow down his push per, uh, potential or anything else he's going to try to do. Yeah, and we actually have Psionic Storm already being researched, so by the time he actually gets the, the necessary um, energy for those fungals, I don't think he's going to be able to attack because of that storm. That this could, do, this could be big. It, it could be. We, we will see about that. Uh, one Ling is just scouting the fourth of Riser, mm -hmm. and that will, yeah, well, maybe that will give Warren an idea of what to do next, where to, uh, where to attack. Because the Riser. Oh wow, these overcharges. Mm -hmm. These overcharges are pretty sick, but they can just kill off both of those pylons, and... Ooh, there's just not enough DPS here to kill this off. Uh, he is going to get chased off by some of these gateway units in support of the oracles, man. Ling's yeah. going to be flooding in here, though. How many? That's the question. I mean, look just at the supply. This is what... Oh, the investors are alone right here. He, he can be so happy that there are, is no uh, observer in place mm -hmm. and there was no revelation cast. You really have to be careful where to position those. Yeah. If you position them right above your army, you get elevated and the enemy knows right away what you're up to. Yeah, I mean, um, as you mentioned though, Robo has been skipped quite a lot in this matchup lately, so... No observers. No observers. <laughs> Nobody likes observers. Exactly, man. Well, this base... <laughs> Does appear to be forfeit. The Hydra's getting a great concave there, and shuts I mean, that why face fight? down. Why fight? And with what? I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> wow! These oracles get just shut wrecked. down. He, they, they got their elevation off, so he knows that infestors are there, mm -hmm. and he has at least some observer. Mm -hmm. But I don't see the archons uh, being enough here to to kill that. No, the rage is just too strong. One or two storms. Mm -hmm. Nice feedbacks though, but let's see what's left. Yeah, and that is that is going to be GG at the start of that engagement there, man. We had double the army supply for Psystorm Warren uh, compared to Riser. So ZVP definitely seeming to be Warren's best matchup here. Riser getting shut down just as his teammate before him. We'll see if uh, Warren continues his ZVP tear or if... Um, Risen chooses to try a different matchup out, man. We're going to be hopping into that game very shortly. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.